Hey guys, MTASH here, and this is an important moment for Destiny 2. It is progression that I'm excited for, and I pray that they continue to do this because this is the right direction they need to go. The raid gear from the new Crown of Sorrows raid is actually good. It is best in slot, and it is valuable to get. They have taken the perks from the old um, raid gear. If you look at like the old Leviathan raid gear, there was stuff like Power Overwhelming, which gives you uh, power weapon damage and things like that. Um, there was uh, heavy ammo that you could get for getting melee kills, right? Some pretty awesome perks, but they only worked on Leviathan, and that's fine. These perks only work on the Leviathan. What sets this armor apart, however, is while you can have the Leviathan awesome perks to boost up your character, get things like 20% damage to all your weapons after getting a melee kill is you can also slot in another mod so you have now made this the absolute undisputed top tier pick if you're going to be doing raids on the leviathan which is a great source of getting powerful drops and and gear and exotics and and brand new weapons and things like that you have now made the armor actually valuable for the first time in destiny other than that first Leviathan gear. But even with this stuff, you could argue that some of the Leviathan gear, it wasn't as good because you could just use a different armor with uh, super mod or, uh, or, or something like that. But now you have given us the option to not only have these awesome perks, these Leviathan specific perks, but that extra mod. And now for the first time in any of the raids that have launched so far in Destiny 2, I want to get them. I actually want to farm this raid and get my full set of armor. Will it apply in every single area and be best in slot in absolutely every situation? No. Probably just Leviathan. But I don't care. It doesn't matter. The fact that it is so much better than every other option when I am doing Leviathan makes it valuable. While maybe not everyone plays Gambit Prime, if you were to farm out a maxed out Reaper set or Sentinel set, you bring value to the team. You are stronger than everyone else. It is something that you would want to have in your inventory. Uh, if Trials of Osiris ended up coming back and you ended up going flawless, you would probably want the armor there to be the best you could get in PvP. And this is one of the first times, other than the Prime Gear, I would say. I'd say Prime Gear was like the start of set gear and maybe, you know, best in slot stuff. But finally... We have raid gear being back on the map, being something we want to chase. Because this is five slots. One, two, three, four, five slots out of a total of eight slots that you can equip. Other than, you know, your ghost. But if all of these are going to be boring as hell, then it really reduces how much someone like myself wants to play the raid. The second you add this extra mod, you have now intrigued me. And you have most likely intrigued other players that... Maybe we're a little scared to do the raid. I don't blame you. They're hard. They're super hard. But maybe you can get some cool teammates that have this awesome god-tier uh, Leviathan raiding gear that can help carry you in a couple of weeks. And then you can get your own and help other people. Bungie, please keep doing this. This is what we need. We need gear to actually have an uh, excitement factor to it. Something we want to chase. The weapons, they're looking cool. Absolutely, but weapons have never really been an issue in this game. The armor has been a very big issue. Unexciting, uninspired. In the very first raid, I took my Leviathan raid chest piece and I infused it into my Crucible chest piece because it had better mobility and resilience, or recovery and resilience, or whatever it is. And... I can't say I'm going to do that in this one. These sets will be my set, and I will optimize them as best I can, put the best mods in them, and I will keep them, most likely forever. I'm going to collect them, I'm going to love them, and I hope you guys do too, because this, finally, is, is where this gear needs to be. Thanks for watching. I'm going to shut up now, and, uh, and I'll see you soon.